Uh, another video for you guys. Um, well, I suppose it is another video because it sort of takes two of the last one. For you, some of you might have seen the last video where I started off in this pretty much same position. If excuse the, the glare coming in through the window, it's a pretty warm day today, about 34, 35 degrees outside today. Uh, not that it's that hot, but it's a bit hard to get used to the, the um, hot and cold weather we seem to be getting at the moment. One day it's raining, the next day it's 35, so that sort of drives you crazy. But anyway, I didn't bring you here for a weather forecast. Just a bit of a wind-up video for the year, the last video for 2023. It'll just take you for a bit of a look around at some of the jobs I'm working on. Uh, as I say, nothing too exciting, but it's just things that I'm doing in my shop. I don't have much project work that I can show you, but I'm just showing you things that I am working on. Uh, just inside the machine at the moment. Uh, it'd be nice if it was gold dust in there, but I'm just running some bronze bushes at the moment. I'll just bring you over and show you the parts in well, some, some degree what they look like. So that these are getting this is where we're finishing where we're heading for anyway. So we're starting off with this piece here, turning it in the lathe. So I'll take you inside for a quick look why I'm showing you that because I don't have much else to show you. Uh, running that at 50%. What I mean by that is so half in, half out. Uh, about 90 mil hanging out from the drawers. Turn one end, take it out, turn it round, and turn the other end. And just reaching around trying to grab parts while I'm videoing. So that's where we finish up at. And then it gets cut in half, which brings us back to this little bush here, which basically gets inserted in there. But I've still got to bore the ID of this steel bush to insert that. And I'll take you over for another bit of a look, taking you around all over the world. So these are parts that are left over, well the, the steel bushes were left over from last time, I, over, I made more than I needed to, it's a little bit of an ongoing job as the customer needs them, so just the steel, uh, steel outer with the bronze bush inserted inside, so they do get pressed into some degree, they do go in, yeah, they're a pretty neat fit obviously, you don't want them falling out, and then they'll get bored on the ID and faced off, I don't have any finished ones to show you but you get the gist of it, so that's what I'm working on at the moment, uh, I'm just trying to think what else I could probably show you. I do have another video planned, uh, it is going to be my first edited video, so that'll be a bit of a struggle for you. It's nothing too exciting, I don't make anything, you know, I don't make any aerospace parts or anything too high tech, but mostly OEM parts for um, end users, go on to other customers for, for their parts, so um, just looking for words now, <laughs> get back to where I was. Uh, I do have a video on this simple little part here, for those who are interested, that's as much as I can show you in the video, I don't really have much I can show you in videos, I don't do project work, so just going to walk you through a sequence of making this part here, for excite as exciting as that's probably going to be, so that's the top clamp there, so we finish up with a scenario of that, so you have two parts of that, clamp them together and bore out the, bore out the ID and mill the OD, so I'll run you through a little bit of that without making it the video too long, as I say, first edited video I've ever done, so we'll see how that comes out. I um, don't have enough bottom clamps, so I've ran enough of the top clamps, uh, I normally make about 200 of these parts at a time, there's 100 lower and 100 upper, they have a, another machine part in the side here which will make a bit more sense into the next video possibly if I get time to edit it. So we have those parts sitting there, some br bronze bushes sitting here waiting to go into the steel bushes, so that's a bit of a uh, dragging on job. Bringing over some other bits and pieces, I'm running out of space at the moment because I've got more jobs than space at the moment. Uh, just running these bushes at the moment, nothing too high tech. So this one's a fairly simple job, this is just a face so they stay raw on the OD because they're, they're, they're a welded part the customer doesn't want OD machining on otherwise all the spatter just sticks to them anyway so they just need them as a bush board to size faced off so it's a nice easy one and then the larger one here stays the same so this hollow bar so all we do with that is face each end or out the centre and just do that sort of small rebate in the top there to fit over another part so I've got a hundred of those to get done so they're jobs that I've got to get done at the moment that are heading through trying to get them done. I don't know how I'm going to go, but maybe if I wasn't doing this video, I might have a better chance. Take you over for another dizzy look. Just one thing I did think about to show you, but I don't know if I'll show in the video or not. There's another part that um, I'm just about to pick up material for before the end of the year, if I get time, uh, to make these parts next year. So this, I'll be making this out of hollow bar. 
So you can see it's just an OD machine face and has a rebate machined inside there. That's for a part that I make. It'll make more sense. I won't show you the whole detail of it because it is a customer part. So there are things that I make and I don't need to show everything that I make. Just try and just include things as I'm working my way around the workshop. Um, just take you over one. I have the job that I only just finished last night. Another pretty low tech job. So these stainless steel panels, 316 stainless, uh, or laser cut, come from a sheet metal shop. Uh, all I have to do is do the countersinks in here, so they just get screwed onto something, and they get folded on all four sides. Uh, 1,200 of those to do. So that was a pretty drawn out job, and very time consuming and very monotonous sort of job. One other thing that I could probably show you, just to wind up the video, because that's about probably all I've got really at the moment, is the, the Acme threads, which I've got a video on my channel for those guys who are interested, um, cutting Acme threads on the manual lathe. Uh, thankfully, I don't do those anymore. Now I do the, do these in the, uh, the CNC now, so that's great to have that machine. The main reason I brought this part over is just to show you the, I wanted to show you the welding, but to show the actual, well, show a part that I'm working on, another customer part that I make for, for an end use. Um, and it's just the welding on there that I do in another video for those guys who are interested. So that doesn't work out too bad. So that's just rotated by hand. And just got to clean up a little bit of the start stop at the end there, just underneath that. I'm trying to film this with one hand is not easy. Why I'm showing this, I don't know, but I don't have anything else to show you. So that's, yeah, that comes out okay. So just that's just rotated by hand, not in a rotator. But um, just spinning that by hand and welding that with MIG, obviously. So it's not too bad a job, so I've got another um, 20 of those to get done. Um, have to drop those off tomorrow morning, so I've got to clean those up. And um, go, they go to the heat treatment after that, and then hopefully get them back from heat treatment just in time to drop them off at the customer in time to be able to send them out to their customer. So, yeah, probably a little bit, um, a little bit of a rush at the moment, but I managed to get those done and just slowly working my way through these parts now. Uh, these will go through the manual load. These on the CNC labour at the same time, so that'll work out well, but I'm not sort of looking forward to going back over the manual labour and doing uh, long runs, but anyway, do what I have to do to get jobs done. So that'll be good. These will come off the CNC at the same time they're coming off the manual and then just put the two together. Um, hopefully I've sort of like gave you a little bit, in, give you a little bit to look at, nothing too exciting. As usual, nothing really exciting in my videos that much, just me waffling on and just showing you random stuff going on in my videos. Um, probably just more of a, a wind up video for to wind up 2023 and just all the best to you guys and uh, Merry Christmas because I won't see you guys until 2024 can't believe I'm hearing that 2024 soon and we're only, we're only what probably two weeks away from 2024 so uh, I look forward to seeing you guys back and hopefully I'll get that edited video put together and nothing, there's nothing too exciting but something to watch as far as projects go and that'll probably do for this year, and I look forward to seeing you guys back next year. I'll talk to you guys soon. All the best for now. Bye-bye for now.